Hello everybody, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a review of the new Ariel Disney Parks Diamond Castle Collection Limited Edition doll. So this doll was released at the parks. You can find her in Disney World, um, Orlando. You can find her in California and even Paris. If she's not there, she'll be there soon. And she should also show up in the Shop Disney Parks app, um, just like the previous doll, Aurora. Now here's the thing I wanna I wanna talk about this doll for a little bit because she got such a negative reaction when she came out, and I agree with half of the comments that they're saying, but at the same time I think that you need to manage your expectations and kind of know where it's coming from. So this is a parks a parks item. Yes, she's a limited edition doll, but she's part of the parks Disney Castle collection. Now the first doll in this collection is Aurora, but she's a straight up cop. You know Aurora in the pink dress. That you see right here that's the first one in this collection but before her they had done aurora in blue for disneyland's um 60th anniversary so they pretty much copied the design from that one they already had all the materials including the doll and they just kind of re-released it in pink right now this doll in particular ariel i feel like this is what the collection is actually trying to aim for in terms of um quality and design you know she looks like the girls that you see at the park uh, playing Ariel, she looks like them. This is what the outfit looks like. I feel like Aurora doesn't really look like the outfit in the parks. They just copied the previous design. That being said, the retail price is $129.99. And I do agree that that is a really high price for this quality. However, you cannot compare it to a Disney Store doll. The Disney Store dolls are a thing of their own. They're called the Heirloom Collection and they are high quality. And it's kind of the same price. This is a parks item. Parks items are really expensive. Let's not forget that for a long time, they were selling us classic dolls with no articulation for $29, only because they had a little bit of more fabric. $29.25. But bottom line, you could probably get a better doll at Disney Store for $12. So that's just my point. The parks are expensive because it's made for tourists. It's not made for you, collector, or me, collector. <laughs> it's made for people that are at the parks and are excited and they pay $20 for a box of popcorn. That's what these dolls are made for. We just have the privilege of getting them. So we shouldn't be complaining when you're not forced to get it. It's not part of the Disney Store limited edition collection. It is not. It does not even have a certificate or a stand. This is a cheap park product overpriced like everything else at the parks. <laughs> okay, so now that I've gotten all of that out of the way, um, again, I do agree 130 is a lot. Um, if you are an annual pass holder, you get her for 110, which I think is a little better. I think she's probably worth 80, but she's definitely a beautiful doll. And I agree with the complaint about the price being too high, as long as you keep in mind of what it actually is. It's a parks item. It's just overpriced, which sucks, but it's the reality, you know, because the tourist that when I was at the park myself getting it, I saw so many people grabbing her because they just wanted to get her. They don't care. They're in the park. They don't think about prices, you know, people that fly here from other countries and all of that. Anyways, I have talked for so long and I'm so sorry, but I just wanted to make clear what this item is before you judge it unfairly. That's that's pretty much all. So <laughs> let's get started finally with this review. And now we're going to take a look at the box. And as you see, it's the same as the one for Aurora and it has the little handle on the top so you could carry her around in the park if you like. We have the Disney Parks logo, ages three and up. And we have the logo for Little Mermaid's 30th anniversary, which is this year. And it's so pretty. And of course, we're gonna probably see this on the limited edition dolls from Disney Store as well, or maybe a different one. I don't know, it's so nice. <laughs> now, the way this is displayed, I have to agree, when you see her in the box, it is very underwhelming. You know, I'm not denying that the details are lacking. Um, I still think she's so beautiful. <laughs> and it says Disney Parks Diamond Castle Collection Limited Edition Doll, Aerial Doll. We have a warning on the bottom and we have this diamond shape uh, bottom of the box. The price is right below it. I forgot to show it to you in this video, but the price is $129.99. Disney Parks Diamond Castle Collection. And then when you go in the back, it follows the same pattern from Aurora, which, which is having artwork of our Princess Ariel. And it's very pretty. It's like a hand-drawn sketch kind of uh, feel to it. Of course it's not, but it looks like it. <laughs> now 
Next up, we're taking a closer look at her face and I have to agree with some of the comments that I saw saying that it was one of the singing doll faces. And again, it's very pretty. I mean, obviously it's Ariel, she's always beautiful. Um, she doesn't have rooted eyelashes. However, I don't think adding rooted eyelashes would have justified $130 anyway. So I think even if she had them, um, we would want a little bit more from this doll. One of the things that I did want to point out, uh, someone has said that she needed a hair piece. So I looked up pictures of this outfit at the parks and it no longer has a hair piece. So they really did try to make her accurate to the parks look. So yes, this is definitely one of the singing dolls. I just don't think that they had the new face molds that we're gonna get, hopefully. Hopefully we get new face molds for the new limited edition 30th anniversary dolls. So I think they just didn't have those molds yet. And that's probably why we got the last mold they had, which was for the singing doll. Now, when it comes to her hair, I love her hair. It's so good. Um, the way that it's curled is super nice. It looks a little bit hard here, but it's not. It's actually really soft in a way. It's hard to explain. Of course, you can always wash her hair. I might do that eventually, but for now, I'm keeping it this way because it's styled very nicely. It has a little, you know, it's picked up a little bit to the side to kind of give her the, the little wave. Of course, it's on the wrong side. This thing just never gets her side bang correctly, but it still looks nice. It's styled very nicely. Now, Ariel is, of course, also wearing her little earrings and their little seashells. They have like a metallic um, color to them. Very pretty as well. I love them. I thought they would be, I think I would like them if they were a little bit longer, but they are also accurate to the ones in the park. And then she has the little centerpiece right there, which is a seashell with the little diamonds. Very pretty that they added it and it's very nicely painted. The bodice on Ariel's dress is beautiful. I love it so much. It's actually such a good quality. When you first get her, her sleeves are up a little bit high, but if you take them down just a bit, I think it's perfect. Like this, I think it's, in my opinion, it's perfect. I just love, love that they give her this dress. The sleeves have like two layers to them. It's like a clear, sheer, um, glittery fabric. And then beneath it, it's a regular um, fabric. And of course the bodice, I have a hard time here with the hair on the way, but the bodice is a separate piece from the skirt. Pretty much just like Aurora uh, was. It's just very, very nice. The material for it, it's really cool. I, I mean, the camera doesn't really pick up, but there's kind of like a texture to this fabric. I would love to know what it's called, but it's just nice. I like the, you know, the lines that they've made. It's like good quality. I know it doesn't look like it when you see pictures of this doll, but in person, it's a whole different story. And of course she has her little long sheer sleeves and she does have a limited edition articulated body as all the other Disney store dolls do. Now her dress, the, the bottom part of her outfit, the skirt, I should say, again, in my opinion, it's very pretty. It's similar to the one at the parks, but they've added one extra touch, which is the embroidery on the bottom. Now, I thought it would be one of those cases where the embroidery is in the front, <laughs> but it actually goes all the way to the back. So I appreciate that very much. She has this sheer layer around it, and it's kind of like a green. I think in person, it's a little bit more aqua. The camera picks it up a little bit more green. So in the parks, it's more blue, not blue, but it's aqua, really. So the outfit, it would be nice if it was a little bit less green, a little more aqua. However, I still love, love this and I love that they gave her the green dress. There you see it, there's two layers. Yeah, it's one clear layer, which you can see the embro embroidery through it. And it's glittery, but the glitter doesn't fall off. Then she has an aqua layer of fabric and then she has the sheer poofy stuff they put on there. I always forget what it's called when I'm doing the review. Sorry, you guys know what it is. <laughs> and now here's a closer look at the embroidery work. It's just seashells and little stars and leaves. And it's just very pretty. And I'm glad that they added it. It definitely gives her that limited edition touch for me. And it's definitely one of the reasons I wanted this doll. It's my favorite part of the doll. Now her shoes are supposed to be aqua, but they're a little bit more on the blue side. However, I am happy that she has the arched feet and she has heels. We do like that. And by the way, the stand is not included. That is a stand uh, of one of my other dolls. 
Alrighty, my friends. Well, last but not least, I wanted to show you what area looks like next to Aurora. And as you can see, or at least what I see, to me, they match. They look really good together. Um, and really, the only thing that Aurora has that Ariel doesn't is the accessories and the eyelashes. But to be fair, um, Ariel's look in the park, in the parks, does match this. So technically speaking, the only thing that Ariel would be missing is the eyelashes, right? Um, that's really the only thing that she's technically missing because the accessories are not meant to be there to begin with. So, you know, overall, I like Ariel's dress more because it's a better, nicer, softer quality. Aurora is a little bit rough on the dress. It's a little bit of a tough uh, material, but overall, of course, Aurora looks fancier. However, moving forward, I think this collection will look more like Ariel and less like Aurora since Aurora was a remake and Ariel is made just for this. So I don't know if they're going to include lashes if they make more dolls for this collection, but keep in mind, it is a Parks collection. So that is all for today. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you're going to add her to your collection. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for checking out my video and for listening to me talk for so long. I'm so sorry. <laughs> See you on the next one. Bye-bye.